Welcome back to PACTV. I'm Morgan. And I'm Charles. Today is Tuesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, Wolves. We have a number of stories sure to bring a smile to your face this Valentine's Day. Yes, indeed. Our Video One students and PACTV crew have worked hard to plan, film, and edit their own investigative stories. Let's lean in and listen to what they have discovered. I'm Nathan, and today we're here at Black Hills High School, where, I will, at, where we are here to ask a simple question. How do people feel like they're part of the Wolf Pack? I'm a part of Black Hills is um, basketball, and more specifically is, you know, when we have home games, the student section is there. I just, we, I just love that energy, and it kind of makes me feel, you know, more comfortable and more, you know, more at home, I guess. Kind of like a home, home feeling. You know. I'd say really the students. Uh, I can come in here, I can laugh, talk to really anyone, and just have a good time, really. You know, I think we have a pretty including student body. You know, I don't really see anyone that's like rude or not really inclusive at all. Oh, uh, Black Hills, I get to be part of this awesome crew that works here and lives here. We feel like we live here. And then there's the awesome students. You guys are incredible, so it's great to be part of the crew. All right, that was all. I hope you enjoyed today's video, so, you know, this has been Nathan and PAC TV, signing off. Hey Wolfpack, this is Harrison from PAC TV. Today, I went around the school and asked students how they love, why they love, and who they love. And if it's easier to love or hate. Let's roll the clips. Raymond. What are, what are some things that you do to feel or show love? I try to help with my friends. I'm helping basketball right now. and doing sure. a good job you are and uh, yeah and uh, how do you feel or show love by spending quality time with the people I love most nice I'm here with mr. Edward. how do you feel or show love you know I think I think about what I love to do and there's stuff I just love to do and I either uh, talk to my wife about it or show her why I love it so much. And getting her involved and getting her enthusiastic about it uh, makes it really fun for her. She falls in love with the activity. Um, and then we get to know each other a little differently doing that activity. I've been married for almost 40 years. Oh wow, that's a long time. And love is, a, love is about finding new ways to explore um, who you are as human beings with your partner and, and, and experimenting and trying stuff. Um, and my wife and I have had a blast and I look forward to many more adventures awesome. with her where we explore what love really is. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Well, this is Harrison from PAC TV signing off. My definition of love is when someone like really cares about you and it goes both ways. When a man and a woman love each other very much and when a girl and a woman loves each other very much and when a boy loves his dog, he loves it. Well, there's this Bible verse, 1 Corinthians 13 or 16, um, verses 33 through 34 and it's love is patient, love is kind, love is not boastful, love is not like self-seeking. You know, it's it, it should it shouldn't feel painful, and <laughs> um, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> I did not get that whole Bible Bible verse right, but it, it's along the lines of that. I got a few parts of that. So, uh, love is when you have someone who you don't spend any time apart from, you don't spend all of your time. Apart. That's all for what's your definition of love? Is it rapport, Fiona, pack crew? Signing off. Favorite Valentine's themed candy? Hershey Kisses. They are delicious and I love the chocolatey flavor. My favorite Valentine's themed candy, I'm actually um, a big fan of none of them. Uh, I would say to go back in time and get Cadbury eggs instead because those are better. Valentine's Day is right around the corner for Black Hills High School. And as part of an investigative report, we decided to ask staff members around the school what their experiences with Valentine's Day were like back when they were students. Uh, well, if we're talking elementary school, we did the traditional, you know, pass around the note cards with the candy. 
Uh, honestly, I think the only memories I really have of Valentine's Day was in elementary school when we'd all make our little envelopes and then on Valentine's Day, at a certain point, our teachers would let us run around with all our little cute candy sucker, like Valentine's Day things and put them in there. Well, when I was in school, um, it kind of depended on the year. Sometimes there were uh, various things like candy grams or things that people could buy and have delivered on that special day. When I was in school, Valentine's was a little different. I think we spent a good week decorating either a big, huge paper heart or a shoebox to make it all fancy. And then we would spend Valentine's Day kind of delivering to every kid's shoebox or Valentine pocket. The results of our findings were that many of our staff members celebrated in ways that are still relevant with students today. It seems as if some traditions never die. This is Daisy. And Arias. Reporting for PAC TV, today we asked people if you could take anyone on a date for Valentine's Day, who would that be? Oh, I would take my wife, and we'd jump in the airplane, head up to Friday Harbor, hit the islands, and enjoy the island time. Ice spice. I don't know why, though, just because that's who came to my mind first. Hey, Daisy, I would take my mom because I miss her. And where would you take her? Pellegrinos. I'd take Prince because I really like his music, but I also want to hear how you know, he used to spit game back in the day. A Bella Danger. Mama Rose. Riley Reed. It would be my dog, Paris. And because she makes me happy and I know she loves me. Like, I know that dog loves me. That's all for today. Happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day! Now, for today's Pack TV Pop Quiz. Congratulations if you got it correct. Reminder, students and staff, if you have an announcement to share, please email PACTV advisor Mrs. Susan Larson. New announcements are needed a week before the next PACTV show. Signing out for PACTV, this is Morgan. And Charles, go, go spread, spread kindness, kindness on campus, campus this Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day.